12 Now's Chip Chapman brings us stories to uplift and inspire in Chip's Good Word. Brought to you by Robert Badgley. It's back. It's the annual Polk County Ramp Tramp Festival. It kicks off tomorrow night up in Reliance. They'll have bluegrass music tomorrow night and Saturday. Plus, they'll be serving up some traditional ramps and eggs, as well as ramps and potatoes. Now, if you didn't know, a ramp is a wild onion that grows in the mountains this time of year. So how do you find them? And what can you do with them? We, of course, turn to the experts. Check out this from Tyler Creamings and his Dishes and Fishes channel. If you're wondering when ramps come out, basically I look for skunk cabbage in the spring and as soon as the skunk cabbage comes out, I go out and look for ramps. When you're identifying ramps, look for these broad green leaves that are situated kind of across from each other. If you're questioning yourself, take one out of the ground and smell it. If it smells like an onion, you're gold. Here's two ramps. You can see this one's kind of buried here. These will actually not grow back if you remove the entire plant. But what I'm going to do is just leave the roots in the ground. So you want to take a, a cutting tool. You just want to cut half of that bulb. The other half is still in the ground. Roots are in the ground. So this plant will grow back next year. So we got a bag of ramps. Let's take them to the kitchen and see what we can do. All right, guys, back at my kitchen here, and the first thing I want to show you is pickled ramps. So all you're going to do is bring enough vinegar to a boil to cover your jar of ramps. Then you're going to add salt and whatever spices you choose. Once your vinegar comes to a boil, add your spice mix, take it off the heat, and then pour it over your ramps in the jar. This is going to quick pickle them. After 10 minutes, take your liquid out of your jar, let it cool, and then add it back to your ramps. This will prevent them from getting too mushy. The next recipe I want to show you is another killer, ramp pesto. So the first thing I'm going to do is grind up my smokehouse almonds. Then I'm going to combine my Parmesan cheese with that until it's all kind of uniform. Then I'm going to add my ramps. Then finally, I slowly drizzle in my olive oil until it's the right texture. Should look like this. And kind of like pickled ramps, you can put pesto on anything. In my opinion, the two best foods to forage for are morel mushrooms and ramps. And they're only out for a little bit in the spring, so get out there and find them. We appreciate Tyler sending us that video. Now, if you have some good news that you would like to share with us, send it in. News at WDEF.com. That's news at WDEF.com. I'm Chip Chapman. I hope you'll join us tomorrow evening at this same time for even more good news.